Hello and welcome to the Curiosity of Gaming. Today we're going to be building the Chevrolet G506, which was an American built truck, however, was also used by other Allied forces. You can see it in motion here. During World War II, the Americans alone bought a whopping 167,400 4x4 trucks. Here's what you'll need for the build. There's many, many different <laughs> parts for this. I think this is one of the most party... Party? <laughs> party builds. First, get your block of coal and place them like so, with a gap of two in between the two front wheels and a gap of five between the front and rear wheels. Then place your stone buttons on the outside of every wheel. Now you'll need your dark prismarine slabs. Place them across the front and then on the front too as well, but leave a gap between the wheel and the um, next slab. Then we'll be building the back of the truck, four across like that. You will actually need two more slabs on the front, which you'll see in a second. There we go. Okay, now we are going to build the covering. For this, you'll need green wool, as you can see here. I think that's three blocks up. Yep, three blocks up. And then over the top of the wheel there and across. Leave a gap of two so that the men can get in and out. And across there, along the bottom here, until you reach where you had your last dark prismarine slab. Then leave a gap of one block there for your emblem or symbol. It was a main lend lease truck given to the USSR, and if you would like it to be a Soviet Union truck, just swap the white wool and quartz stairs for red wool and red nether brick stairs. Now we will build the floor with spruce trapdoors. Don't forget to crouch. There we go. And then place your spruce fences so the men don't fall out. <laughs> now we're going to build the engine oh no we're going to build the roof actually uh, with green carpet uh, i f find that this helps like the um covering look a bit rounder but first fill in this gap and then put some string and then the carpet will look like it's floating you probably already knew that though <laughs> Place it on top of the string, and then two behind, and two in front. And I, that does give a nice rounded effect, I think. Now we're going to make the engine and cab. First get your dark prismarine stairs, and then your um, quartz stairs, or if you want it to be uh, the Soviet army, get your red nether brick stairs. The D506 had a range of different variants from special turrets used in bombers designed to train air crews with live ammunition as it was much cheaper in the back of a truck than in an actual plane. There are also utility trucks with small cranes or large winches for assisting troubled vehicles. Okay, now place your quartz stairs and then you get a rounded shape on the front step and then it looks a little bit more like the truck. Now your glow, your glowing item frames and snowballs in that. And what's really cool about that is it actually lets off a little bit of light, so it's almost functional. <laughs> and then some more stairs on either side there. Now get your deep slate tiles and place them for the engine, then ladders on the front of those. 
and then your dark prismarine slabs and then another layer of those a block and then slabs on top then just one block uh two blocks side by side here so that you can place your tinted glass on top then your dark prismarine slabs and voila you're finished do you like gaming in clothes well you're in luck why not visit the QST store? You can get your gaming t-shirts and your QST of a child t-shirts. We've even got hoodies and cushions. Oh, and a biodegradable phone case made of soil and peas or something. So take a look at shop.thequestyofachild.com. There's a link down in the description. Thank you for the build idea, Arthur. Now onto the open back variant of the truck. Get your grindstones as winches and fences along the outside and then a little bit on your dark prismarine slabs are there and then a stair over the top of the back wheel upside down then for detail add a load of junk jukeboxes furnaces bloody -blah, blah crafting tables to make it look like stuff's being piled up in the back please subscribe <laughs>